fun. But we do have a lot of boring questions like, when do you watch last week's episode? What do you think about the program? So sometimes we try to have more interesting ways to design our questionnaire. We try to not just do quantitative studies, to have more different ways of doing it. Uh, we also actually try to, um, we sometimes write our personal email to certain members who have a lot of feedbacks in terms of quantitative open-ended questions to get more in-depth from them. So it's really about how to design your questions in a more engaging way and try to use different tools that Spark can provide to have a more variety of question types in the survey to make it more interesting and engaging. Yeah. So I noticed you have a lot of multiple choice survey questions. Yes. So do you, do you watch it last weekend or not, type of questions? So we all have this thing about surveys. When they come back, when do you decide to make a change? 80%? 70%? 60%. So how do you decide on what the cutoff should be? Because every feedback is valuable, right? We actually don't look at results so quantitatively, although we like to, uh, because to some extent our panel is still a little bit biased because we recruit all the members from through online promotion. <coughs> so we know most of the members are our fans. So they tend to be more positive and um, towards our channels. So those information is more as a, as a gauge for us to know where we are and uh, what are the different feedbacks. That's why we value the open-ended questions a lot. We want to know the details about what they like, what they don't like, what works and what doesn't. So we normally make a decision just based on the overall feel of our feedback instead of specific numbers. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Carmen, I'm from Data Spa. I understand that in the TV industry, there's actually very established um, metrics already that measures TV viewing, uh, audience engagement, behavior. How do you actually reconcile the insights that you get from your community versus an industry-wide kind of uh, results? Yeah, very good question. That's something we work on on a daily basis. Um, so all our decisions are made based on ratings, which is the industry currency. Um, I think the inside community is just a complementing tool. Um, with ratings, a lot of time we couldn't answer a lot of why questions, like why this program works, why that program doesn't work. And that's why we go to the community for more quantitative feedback. As I said, we don't really look at specific numbers from inside the community, but more as a guidance on what's working and what's not. Why certain program work and certain program don't. So it's more giving a guidance on qualitative inputs rather than quantitative. Yeah, so we use both at the same time, but the quantitative decision making is more based on ratings. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Annie. Really appreciate that. We have a little something for you. Hopefully the content has been interesting enough that it's not bothering too many people yet. Um, we're going to shorten the uh, the break from 10 minutes down to 5 minutes. Um, now, don't forget, this is all about the big prizes. Ooh. Come on, let's hear it. Ooh. I feel like we're Fasa presenting Simba. Here we go, here it is. Yes. So, if you want to be in for the big prize, the small big prize, then please do get that quiz completed. We'll just take a very short five minute break so you can top up your coffees and finish the last quiz questions if you haven't quite managed that. Uh, we'll play a short video that will let you know that we're ready to start again in about five minutes. All right, thank you.